Hey guys, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today we're smoking pork belly for a barbecue double pork belly sandwich. So here we have our pork belly. This is about a, a four pound slab of pork belly. Uh, I wanna prepare this in two different ways today, so we're gonna cut this right down the middle. Half of it we're gonna cook until we can pull it, just like we would pulled pork. And the other half we want to slice into individual slices um, so we don't want it quite that tender. Now this pork belly came with the skin off, uh, which is fine. A lot of times you'll get it with the skin on. Um, either way, we are not going to eat the skin, uh, especially for this recipe. So it doesn't matter that we don't have any skin on here. We will just leave that fat there. Um, we won't get much seasoning through it, but it'll render as it cooks and that'll be just fine the way it is. All we need to do at this point is get it seasoned up and then we'll take it out to the smoker. All right, so we'll hit this with just a little bit of olive oil just to help bind that rub. I picked two of my favorite pork seasonings. Uh, this is the Plowboy's Yardbird and the Arbutzer Smoking Ozark Heat. And we're just gonna go ahead and kind of do like a 50-50 mixture on these. So we'll let the rub set up just a little bit and then we'll flip it over and we'll go ahead and season the fat side a little bit too. All right, the rub has tacked up really nice. We're seeing this, these nice moisture pockets. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this over and get the other side seasoned. All right, we'll give these just another five or 10 more minutes before we take them out to the smoker. So we've preheated our Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill to 250 degrees so that we can smoke these and get a really nice bark on the outside. We're gonna come back and check on the color, see how it's progressing here in a couple of hours. So we're about two and a half hours into our cook now. Around two hours in, I took a peek to see how the color was looking and it's really progressing nicely. You can see we've got a nice dark brown mahogany color going on here. And this piece I actually want to wrap up in foil so that we can get it to a temperature where we can shred it like it's pulled pork. The other one we're gonna let cook open for a little bit longer and we're gonna cook that one to a lower temperature. And just to see where we're at, we'll probe this guy. 180 degrees right now, 175. Now this is probably going to be 200 or above when it's ready to shred. We'll be probing for tenderness, but we'll probably be looking at a finishing temperature above 200 degrees. So we're about three hours and 45 minutes into the cook, total time now, and we're gonna go ahead and check for some doneness. We've been poking this every once in a while to kind of probe and feel the tenderness. We just wanna get this foil packet open and check it out. So that's really nice. There's very little resistance to that. And you can see we're creeping up on 208 degrees internal temperature. So I think that we'll find that if we wrap this back up with the foil, just let it rest for a while, we should be able to shred this pretty easily here in about 20 or 30 minutes. Let's also take a look at our belly we'll be slicing. Wow, that's got really beautiful color on it. Check out that nice dark brown. And then it's also got a really nice tenderness to it right now. So we're looking at about 195 internal temperature. This should be a really great spot for us to go ahead and pull it and rest it before we slice. 
This half of the belly is the one that we're going to slice and it's been resting for about 20 minutes. We're going to continue to let that rest while we dig our hands into this foil wrapped pork belly and get this thing shredded. We're saucing our pulled pork today with Eat Barbecue's IPO sauce. This is a really fantastic pork sauce. So we just want to make sure we get all of this coated. All right, now that's ready for our sandwich. All right, now we're going to get some slices out of this other piece of belly. So just to show you guys where we're at on the tenderness of these slices, obviously these are still holding together. It's not the pulled consistency, but it just takes a little tug for those to pop apart. So they're still nice and tender. All right, so now it's time to build our sandwiches and we're gonna start by putting a few slices of pork down on the bottom. And then we wanna top that with our pulled pork. So we're going to get some of the sweetness from that barbecue sauce and the saltiness from the rub on the bark. And then just to top it off, we're going to put some spicy pickles on top. Now we've got some briny vinegar and a little spice. And there's your barbecue double pork belly sandwich. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the subscribe button. And if you got any questions, comments, or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.